guys. Um, this is gonna be this is part three of the bomb deck building. So here is what I had last time. Okay, and remember, I second part was a complete mess. <laughs> I really made no progress. I just basically showed you this, and then it was glued. And then I split it apart. And uh, here is the second wall. I showed you with the grooves, the vertical grooves, then I made the horizontal grooves, cut out the windows, placed in all the spacers, and now I'm starting to make the columns. So there's two columns. I'm having them go from the very top to the bottom of the second floor. Um, this, These spaces up here, I'm not going to put spacers in. Um, I'm going to put spacers in down here and here. And here and here, obviously, I will put those in. These, this edge is going to have a column. Once it gets attached to the wall, same as this edge. These two still need columns put in, which I'm going to do now. This side uh, is going to have, uh, well, most of the columns are going to be broken aside from the two very side ones. So we'll see how it turns out. I'm really trying to. Um, think like a few steps ahead to see which way I should proceed with it first. Be like, I don't want to do something and trap myself. Like, you know, like if you're washing a floor and you trap yourself into a corner. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I want to figure out which, what, what way should I do? Put the building together. Should I construct it first? Or should I paint everything first? I think I'm gonna for this because it's gonna be mostly enclosed. I'm gonna create the floors first paint them and do them, decorate them, and then take two walls, the a big wall and a small wall, glue them together in an L shape, and then start gluing all the walls in, I mean all the floors in, and then glue in the final two walls, and then eventually the roof. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, but anyway, so that's what we got. I got, um, this is going to be my base, okay, this is actually cardboard or I guess it is cardboard unlike what my other buildings had was this base this uh, cereal box which I use but those buildings are small so they could fit here this this building is a bit bigger so it's gonna fit, it'll fit nicely there I could put it that way too even if I wanted to however whatever so yeah Oh, excuse me. So that's that. Now, where did that one column go? Oh, here we go. This, I did a kind of a crappy job cutting it because I just eyeballed it instead of using uh, a, a ruler to a straight edge. So, uh, but that's okay because this one's just going to get broken up anyway. Rip. So, yeah. Right about there. It's kind of... It's not fitting perfectly in there. I should cut it. It's gonna have to get cut down a little bit. It's certainly not like it's. It's just too. It's it's bulging out just a little bit. All right, so it's definitely gonna have to get cut down. Hope I don't mess it up. fits now. Still a little too big. Crap. Still a little too big. It's really hard to do. Scissors. And then I'm going to cut it and it's going to be too sh short or something like that. I know it. It's what always happens. Should be using a knife. Oh well, whatever. Actually, that's okay. It's not too bad. I can't see that light. That's actually not too bad.
it's actually not too bad. Okay, so, damn it. So you take your hobby knife now. And put off the extra to right about here. And then just start taking your knife and doing this. Now, oh fuck, that was a little too much. Let's see, how does that fit? All right, so it reaches the bottom and it goes up to there. And I can always um, like break that off or put, you know, so it's, it's fine, it's pretty good. So I'll keep that. I don't feel like making another column. It's gonna mess up, so you just get your white glue. And you go along. Put the glue, put the glue, put the glue. And then you put your column in. Oops. And if you don't want to put too much pressure, you know, with your fingers, just get a ruler because that'll, you know, it's like a snowshoe. You know how uh, that's the word surface area pressure is less. So you won't bend it and break it and stuff. There we go. Um, all right, so there's that column, and then we got that one more column, and then I'll have to break up the columns here. Uh oh, get down you! And then get rid of this glue. Great. Oh, geez, I'm already up to eight minutes. God Christ! All right. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. So I guess that's this is just this one part, just showing you where I am. And uh, yeah, so in the next part I'll have all this finished and I'll be starting on the other walls. And or maybe I'll just do the floors or something. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks. Bye bye.